This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. The lesson title today is Saul Disobeys God's Command. The lesson text comes from 1 Samuel 13th chapter verses 5 through 14. The lesson aim is to show that Saul disobeyed God by doing what he himself thought was the best thing to do. Look at the three images here. Which image is an example of disobedience to God? Good job, you've answered correctly. It's the image below where the man is stealing some items. Now, Touch the images that are examples of obedience to God. Great job! You selected a woman and her child praying and a child reading the Bible. The time period of the lesson is 1041 BC. The places Micmash and Gilgal. If the distance between Micmash and Gilgal is 100 miles, how many hours would it take to travel from one to the other by donkey at the speed of 10 miles per hour? Excellent. The answer is 10 hours. 1 Samuel chapter 13 verses 5 through 14. And the Philistines gathered themselves together to fight with Israel, 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and people as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude. And they came up and pitched in Michmash eastward from Beth Haven. When the men of Israel saw that they were in a strait, for the people were distressed, then the people did hide themselves in caves and in thickets and in rocks and in high places and in pits. And some of the Hebrew went over Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. As for Saul, he was yet in Gilgal, and all the people followed him trembling. And he tarried seven days according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering, the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistine gathered themselves together at Michmash. Therefore, said I, the Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him in a man after his own heart. And the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people. Because thou hast not kept that which the Lord hath commanded thee. Here are some vocabulary terms that we will uh, review throughout the story. Formidable, inspiring fear or respect through being impressively large, powerful, intense, or capable. Blatant of behavior done openly and unashamed. Perpetuity 
a bond or other security with no fixed maturity date. Counterattack, an attack made in response to one by an enemy or an opponent. The lesson discussion, the circumstances, the disobedience, the defense, and the judgment. In this lesson, Saul gathered a small army and his son Jonathan led a successful raid on a Philistine outpost. Likewise, the Philistines launched a counterattack. It was then that Israel realized that they bit off more than they could chew or took on more than they could handle. The Philistines' army was massive, and though Saul was proven to be a great military man, the Philistine threat was more formidable. And at this time, he became overwhelmed and anxiously awaiting the arrival of Samuel. His soldiers started to scatter, so Saul took matters into his own hands by offering a sacrifice to the Lord, which only priests were ordained to do. He was aware, but he did it anyway. And this was blatant disobedience. And if he had obeyed God, his kingdom would have been established in perpetuity. However, Samuel was in, Samuel informed him of his foolish actions. Saul would be replaced by a man after God's own heart, meaning they would put God first. So let's keep in mind that sin is sin and God's judgment of sins are sure. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. At this time, we will uh, go over our DOK questions or depth of knowledge questions. And you can take some time with your parents and just have a little discussion uh, in reference to the questions that are listed here. For the intermediate students, how would you prove Saul's blatant disobedience? Analyze the impact of Saul's disobedience. Oh, that should be two. I have one and one for both sets of questions. <laughs> okay, question number two. What tool can you use to evaluate your level of obedience in Christ? What tool can you use to evaluate your level of obedience in Christ? The primary questions. Uh, number one, what is the name of the king in this story and question number two not one on one how are King Saul and Samuel different from one another how are King Saul and Samuel different from one another and here's uh, a current event or some current event questions uh, the first one is what type of storm is approaching Florida Number two, what is the name of the storm? Number three, which prophet's name is similar to the storm's name? Number four, which ocean is the storm located in or over? Here are some links for your enjoyment. Uh, the books of the Bible, John 3.16, and uh, two songs. The first one is Listen and Obey. The second one is Trust and Obey. And then we have the 23rd Psalm and the Lord's Prayer. God bless you and thank you for joining the MTCLC, More Than Covers Life Center Sunday School. Thank you for joining us, Noel, Zaniah, Tyler, India, Leroy, Taylor, Faith, Nevea, Skylar, DeMarco, Jalen, CJ, Erica, Victoria, Timothy, Grant, and Grace. God bless you all and anyone that has joined us and I haven't called your name. God knows your name and we thank you so much for being a part of uh, our Sunday school today. Have a blessed week.